Hi, in this slide we're going to look at the, the theoretical proposal that the plumbing supply distributor came up with for the plumbing supply, the plumbing contractor. After reviewing the contractor's bottom 100 losing items, they said, you know, we could take as few as the 10 worst items, and by worst meaning they, this contractor bought this thing like crazy, 400 times a year, and it was losing us a thousand bucks, and he's losing himself a lot of money on the flip side of this, this reciprocal relationship. And what we're really talking about is going to the contractor and saying, you know, your policy of zero inventory on the vans because you know the guy honestly was worried that it disappears you know when you have meat and potatoes people tend to like borrow some of that and use it for a moonlighting job in which the contractor doesn't get labor or the value of the inventory they bought I mean it's it's shrinkage it's theft it you know so not that his people are steal but he doesn't want to tempt them let's just frame it that way however what if we could identify items that are massively popular and small and they're, they're, they have so little value to them that people wouldn't even want to steal them. You know, most people don't steal a lot of salt and pepper and sugar and so forth from restaurants. Some people do, but, but, the, but certainly the chef doesn't. So how would we say on a van, if you had a little, you know, tackle box of miscellaneous stuff and you had to choose just 10 items, what would they be as far as massive popularity? Uh, obviously statistical oversights because we can look at how often your guys came in and bought just one pinch of these different items this past year. And by creating that custom spice rack, what will happen is, sure, your inventory carrying costs, because now you have inventory in the van, it's going to go up infinitesimally. It doesn't matter really. It's negligible. But what's going to happen to your ability to stay right there in the job and get the job done without running back to our counter to pick it up? So your billing time goes up huge. Your paper costs go down huge because instead of having another 400 invoices that we send you and you've got to do three-way matches involving you know no material costs of goods, those disappear for both of us. And then your customer service goes up because you tend to get more jobs done on time, which allows you to get to the next job on time. So three different people are winning. The distributor's winning, the contractor's winning, and their cut the contractor's customers are winning. And since they're so happy, they'll come back and buy from them again and tell their friends and so forth. And they'll start growing faster than the industry average. Isn't that great? I put in a postscript here. Because when the plumbing supply contractor looked at their SKU whale curve, uh, or just their SKU profitability ranking report, and went to the bottom of the report and said, what is our single biggest losing item? They had, a, they had an item where there was an average of $0.45 cents in margin dollar per pick. You know, that's like selling a single A double battery or something. They had over 32,000 annual picks for the year. It was sold to over 4,800 customers. This is obviously a very little pop. Everybody buys single-A batteries. But it cost the distributor $8 to pick it. He had a big central distribution center, was delivering out to all these locations. And lots of this stuff was going over the counter. So people were walking back to the store the, you know, to get the battery and come out and you know say, here it is. And if you looked at the total cost of being able to pick it there, it was 8 bucks. So the guy's losing seven dollars and fifty cents on every pick times thirty two thousand. And 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 in the in in the in this particular specific customer, he was one of the forty eight hundred that was buying this thing like crazy in the same way. Now, this is just a beginning, the idea of a little custom spice rack at the van level. Uh, because there was yet another level of insight that the two partners then worked out, and we're going to call that Operation Jumpstart, and we'll look at that a little bit later on. So that's the end of, of, of this. This, so this is what I talk about, the four-view analysis. Remember those four concentric circles with the light bulb in the middle? And by having those deep-dive line-item profit analytic tools, lenses, you're able to find the light bulb and then you can go out and have a very productive conversation with a customer 
where we're using their statistical buying pattern. We're not making this stuff up. We're not guessing. This isn't ballpark. This is, you know, these 10 items are killing us both out of 1900 kind of thing. So I think that's a very powerful, exciting tool. Thank you.